and welcome to another episode of epoxy and butyl tape in this episode i'm going to be continuing with more canvas projects starting with lee cloths for my quarter berths and lee cloths are essentially just a barrier here to keep you from falling out of the bunk uh typically made of cloth but i've also seen them made of wood bunk boards as they're called so everything I need here is uh, some nylon cloth. It's probably a little heavier than required, but uh, that'll work great. Some one inch nylon webbing strap. Some shiny brass snap hooks. And loop straps or footman loops, however you want to call them. Uh, some brass grommets. I may not even need these and some hardware to secure them to the bunk itself. So I've been procrastinating on this for quite a while. I actually bought these back in 2022, I think it was. I should tell you how long I've been procrastinating. Um, and these will secure to the bottom. There's actually some holes in there, uh, probably from a previous owner who had them Toward to the grab rail and then um, I'll secure one end here to the fiberglass and the other end I was going to do to here but that's not very high it's only about seven eight inches probably should be a, a, a bit higher so I'll secure this end to somewhere over here on the bulkhead And now the first stage is complete. So on the sides, I rolled it over twice, folded it over twice and did a double hem. This is the outside, this is the inside. That's for both sides. On the bottom, I just rolled, folded it over once here and hemmed that. And then added the one inch webbing uh, to the bottom. So it twice and I did leave a little bit on the side here because I'm going to put some reinforcement uh, webbing on there. Um, and then on the top, I have not done anything yet because I want to figure out exactly how I'm going to approach that. Okay, so now doing a little bit of dry fitting. I've inserted that under the cushion. And holding this up, um, Seems that should be pretty close to there, to the to the fiberglass, um, which will be held in place by this. So I could probably slide this back a little, or forward rather. Uh, but I do want to leave a bit of space here for my head and maybe even my arm, because I tend to lay on my side when I sleep. So I think that should be good if I keep that back uh, about two or three inches. And now stage two is complete. So this is the inside. This is the part that will show. Uh, this goes under the cushion. Uh, I've sewn in that top strap, uh, sewn a loop for the snap hook on this side. On the other side, I sewed in a loop for a quick release buckle, which will go onto the long part of the strap. And that will connect to the other snap hook, which will connect to the bulkhead. So these will go under the cushion, of course. Uh, this will get screwed in. This will get screwed in um, into the fiberglass. And I, I did put the uh, extra long piece here. Probably not necessary because these are pretty small. Uh, I mean, your feet go in there, so this is maybe holding half of your body. 
Um, and I didn't really need to go all the way up because this, this is really thick nylon. It's probably strong enough as is. Uh, plus it's folded over, so that's more than plenty strong. And the last step was to add this optional pocket here. It's a double pocket. Um, and part of the reason I, I did that was I wanted to try out this um, new binding attachment for the sewing machine that I got off Amazon for just a few bucks. And I just used some leftover umbrella with the edges folded over uh, and sewed it on. And here we have it. Worked out well. And finally, we have the completed Lee cloths. So the bottom is secured with these uh, machine screws and fender washers. There's three straps with two sets each. Um, I had a little trouble on this side because there's a water tank here that needed to be removed so I can access the bottom and the battery bank and I'm getting attacked by squirming gnats here. Uh, on the ends, the snap hooks are attached to the eye, which is through bolted. You can see the cap nuts there. Same thing on the other side. And on the other side, the long strap here. This has been through bolted. The eye has been through bolted to the bulkhead. You can see the nuts. Same thing on the other side. And the only other changes uh, that I made here was when I, when, I, when I put this pocket on, when I had sewed this on, I had also sewed on one on the inside here. Um, this one has a red binding made from nylon strap, nylon webbing strap. Um, and also the center strap here, center support. Originally, I didn't think that was going to be necessary because the Lee cloths themselves are 40, 42 inches or so. But I neglected to take into account the full length from anchor point to anchor point, which is about six and a half feet. So that center strap turned out to be very necessary uh, to keep it from flopping and also to provide a bit more support. Um, and there's a quick release buckle here. And this allows you to tighten and loosen. Same thing here, quick release, tighten and loosen. And between these two, you can quickly release these if you need to get out in a hurry, um, you know, if you're getting tangled or whatever. And that is the completed Lee cloths to keep me safe, keep me from falling out. Um, also, any objects I put in here, keep them from falling out. And also, this old guy 